Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahakwadash. Double honors to your apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim across the globe that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Gaze to Brother Yah Rock back once again. And uh, I'm going to do a uh, just a quick uh, listen, man. Just, uh, you know, about how, you know, the times that we're in, man, it's, we in bad times, you know. It's not a time to be uh, in the spirit of mirth, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you got uh, uh, Jake, you know what I'm saying, which I'm referring to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, amongst Israel, okay, uh, those that, you know, claim to be followers of, of the Most High and His Son, all right, but they pushing the whole vibration of just being in the spirit of mirth, man, you know, and, uh, you know, this is definitely not the time for that, all right, so I just had a few precepts to go with that, and uh, that'll be it, but I'm going to just start here at Ephesians. This is Ephesians 5, all right? Ephesians 5 and 15. See, then, so like, uh, let me turn on my do not disturb real quick. All right. Uh, Ephesians 5 and uh, 15, it says, See, then, that ye walk circums circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Okay? So we ought have to walk. Uh, circumspectly, man. All right, meaning that you are uh, paying attention. All right, you watching. Okay, measuring the times. All right, watching the uh, news, linking everything up with the prophecies. Okay. All right, watching everything and linking it with the scriptures, man. Okay, which that's the a main indicator. To show you the times that we're in, man. Okay. Uh just right off the top, uh second Ezra, uh the ninth chapter. Okay. Measure thou the time. Okay. And uh I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Uh bear with me a second. Second Ezra chapter nine. All right. This is Second Ezra chapter nine. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently, in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." Okay. Uh, therefore, verse 3, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like is all that is made in the world had the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. Okay. So right, we in those, we in the times, man, of the the end of this world, man. Okay, which by that, meaning the end of this age, man. You see what I'm saying? Uh, as the scripture says, Esau is the end of the world. Okay, and Jacob is the beginning of it. They follow it. Okay, the end of the world. All right, means the end of an age. Okay, so Esau's rule. All right, it is coming towards an end, man. All right? And in the midst of that, there's going to be uh, lamentations mourning and woe. Okay? And we in them times right now, man. All right? You even have men in Israel that says uh, Jacob trouble, Jacob's trouble is gay. You know? We shouldn't be telling Israel not to be concerned with that. In other words, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. 
uh, as Yahweh Shah said, there's going to be a lot of people, all right, caught up unawares, man, all right? Those that are uh, just freaking uh, lost in the sauce, man. No freaking idea what the hell's going on, man. Not watching the signs uh, of the times, man. Okay, not being diligent. Okay, thinking everything's all good, everything's all sweet, all right? You know, not concerned about what this devil Esau is, is getting ready to do, okay? Still want to kick their feet up and be comfortable in, in Babylon, man, okay? You know? So going back to the scripture, man, uh, going back to uh, Ephesians 5, Ephesians 5 and uh, 15, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, okay? So, you know, that's that's self-explanatory, man, okay? 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil, all right? So once again, this is not a time to, uh, to be a turn-up Israelite, man, okay? It's not a time to be uh, just... Uh, Serving the Lord when it's convenient for you, you know. Matthew 24 and 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels in heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be for as in the days of noah were before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that noah entered into the ark okay so right same thing in these times all right right it says for as in the days of noah were before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage you know in other words just living it up you know what I'm saying? Not taking heed to uh, to Noah, who was prophesying, you know? Same thing today, man. All right? The most I uh, set up prophets, okay? Set up watchmen to blow the trumpet, sound the alarm, give warning. All right? The day of the Lord is at hand. All right? You Israelites need to uh, repent. All right? And turn back to your power. Okay? But, you know, uh, even amongst Israel, man, you know, <laughs> you got uh, cer certain groups all about, uh, you know, uh, having marriages, man, you know, having uh, big lavish weddings. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you know, they broadcasting it, man, you know. But anyway, this is... Uh, Verse 39, it says, and knew not until the flood came and then and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. OK, so right. Same thing is going to happen this go around, man. OK. While, you know, our people want to just kick back and uh, have fun, be turned, you know, uh, thinking everything's cool, you know, rejecting the word mocking and scoffing at the men of the Lord, okay? Hey, man, they're going to be caught on the words, uh, as the scriptures say, man, you know, and it's going to be a terrible day for them, man, okay? You see? Okay, Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, okay? In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Okay. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in our holy conversation and godliness? Okay. Right. You see, knowing these things are coming, you know, uh, your conduct, your 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 uh your walk should be uh you know <laughs> that of one that has fear. 
of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, fearing that if I don't, you know, get my uh, get myself uh, together according to the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, okay, and remain diligent, you know, that I may be uh, a part of that destruction, okay. You know, uh, casting off the ways of the world. All right. Verse 12, it says, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the most high, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and elements shall melt with fervent heat. OK. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. OK. So that's the, the main point, man. You know, this is not our rest. OK. You know, the wicked are still in, in a position to root, you know. Therefore, the earth is defiled, man. You know, the earth is polluted, man. Wickedness is a, is at an all-time high, man. Okay? Why would you want to try to establish something amongst, you know, with the wicked still in rule, man? You know? You see? Second Peter 3 and 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, where we're in dwell of righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. Okay? With that, once again, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim pushing this word and our truth and sincerity. Shalom.